Hello all of you awesome people out there and hey here it looks like you're having lots of fun there spinning your ship around in station Who am I to complain though when you're actually staying on top of the billionaire series? Right so the last time we left you you were running sisters of eve missions. How have you managed to get on with that? Okay, so you've run them for about three hours altogether. Ah, but you don't think you've done too good esquires. Alright, let's be the judge of that for ourselves So uh, let's start off by having a look in your wallet and see what's going on in there Wallet first, there we go. So you got 302 million, which to be honest does mean we are down from the last time. So even the rewards and the bounties from the rats hasn't covered the cost of the ship and everything. So any loot? Okay, so you did actually manage to loot about 90% of the uh, the ship. So and we've got lots of stuff in there, but again, doesn't seem to be worth that much isks. But we'll figure out when we get it to Jita. Most of our good fortune hopefully will be coming from the loyalty points though, so... Uh, uh, dread asking because you've only been doing level ones for a few hours, but how many loyalty points have we actually got to play with? Go on in your in your journal. Yeah, left hand side. There we are. <laughs> All right, so we've got two thousand nine hundred and eighty one. So again, not a lot, but I kind of expected this from running level one missions. Um, let's have a look in the loyalty point store and see what we can get in there. I have actually looked on a Faction Warfare loyalty point conversion tool, which I'll link in the description down below. And I know for the amount of loyalty points we have, we should be looking at buying the Sisters of Eve Combat Scanner Probe. So if you want to scroll down until you can find them, Hero, they're the ones that are going to give us the most amount of isk for the uh, very little loyalty points we actually have. And there they are, right next to the normal scanner probes. Right, so for these, we're going to need to give them 1,800 loyalty points. We're also going to have to give them 1.2 million. And uh, here we jump ahead of me there. They're going to sell for about 412, um, well, between 353 and 412,000 each. So... Yeah, not too bad. As you can see, though, it's actually red, the little icon, um, which means we are missing something. And in this case, we need to actually give them... Wrong one, hero. There we go. We need to actually give them 10 Combat Scanner Probe Level 1. So how much are they currently going for? Yeah, a few market details. Okay, so they're only going for about 22, 23,000. So that's not really going to be too much of a cost. So we should still be getting some profit, however small it is. Um, but yes, yeah, so what we basically need to do now here is you need to undock, go and get your mammoth, bring it here, and basically get all the loot and take it away. Remember when you come back though to bring the level 1 combat scanner probes with you and exchange them for the Sisters of Eve ones and we'll sell everything back in Jita. So, fly safe matey, we'll see you in a minute. So here he is, safe and sound in Jita. And you've got the Sisters combat probes, so obviously remember to do them. All of the other good stuff here. Uh, okay, and you managed to get the two Kaldari shuttles as well. Where are they from? Ah, the rewards from the missions. Fair enough, bit of an odd one, but we'll take it. So, I think the first thing we should start doing is selling things. And the Sisters Combat Probes, yep, should definitely go first since they're worth the most. Let's have a look at the market details to begin with. And they're currently going for about 412,000. We could sell them instantly for 353,000 ish. But these things usually sell pretty quick, so there's no point in you know, just trying to save a bit of time when we can get more money for them. So put them on for about, I don't know, just under what the uh, the lowest is there. And again, I'd be surprised if they take more than an hour to actually shift. So uh, get them up. Let's have a look how much we'll get back for them. Alright, so we'll be getting about 4 million once they actually sell. So we are making a profit on the actual so cost and stuff of what we paid for them, but not brilliant again this is down to doing level ones if you actually grinded away and done like level twos and threes and stuff it would be a lot better so there they are they won't be there long in fact there you go there's nine of them gone already <laughs> um so what you need to do now is simply just sell everything else try and get as much money as you can for it but again don't want to be waiting a lifetime for these things to sell there's no point putting something on the market to get an extra you know thousand isk it's just not worth it so get rid of it all and we'll do some numbers and see how much we actually earned And we are back. So here is everything sold. Yeah, anything went on the market to go or... Okay, so it's all actually sold. Let's have a look in your wallet then and see how much we've got. So, 307.6 million. Now, I'm not going to lie, that is absolutely terrible. It's going to be the worst thing we've done so far to try and make money. Because the last video, we had 306 million. So, we've made a total in three hours of, what? A million max. You know, it's like it doesn't even add up to me. It's like half a mil 
an hour. And I will stress again, this is running level ones, and we only done them for three hours. Um, but here, are you close to level twos now, aren't you? Yeah, another two or three missions, you'll be doing level twos. Once you get to level twos, mainly level threes and fours, that's where the good money's going to come in. Now, unfortunately, you don't really have the time to grind and grind and grind to get up that far in this series. I just wanted to show you basically how missions and that were done. So, we're going to leave this one here, and yeah, we won't speak of it again. But at least now you know how missions work and how you make money from them. So, moving quickly on then, here are my next idea should bring us in some good money because you yourself have done it before in a previous video. We're going to be taking Hampson Hero here into the abyss. So what I need you to do is go into the market and find a nice filament, a calm one, because we're going to be doing level one missions. Now, basically, we're going to be getting as cheap a fit as possible. So if we do die in the abyss, it's not going to be the end of the world. We can't really fit this ship to be like a 300 mil beast because, well, if we die, that's it. All our money's gone. We might as well have not bothered. So we're going to be getting a cheaper fit as possible. Bear in mind, Hampson Hero is also an alpha. So it's going to be here as first time in the abyss as an alpha. Um, but yeah, I have high hopes for you here. I'm sure you'll manage. So let's have a quick look at the filaments. We are going to want the calm ones. And if you just click the info for one of the calm ones for me here, I just want to go up a little bit. Not the chaotic. No, they're level three, I think. Yeah, calm. So if you click on them, you can see there's like five different ones there. And each has like its own different, um, well, benefits and draws back. So if you click the info and go to the attributes, you can see what type of filament it is. This one being a dark filament means that ships in this environment receive a bonus to maximum velocity, but a penalty to turret damage. If we look at the electrical one next, again in the attributes under the environment, we can see that this one gets uh, an environment penalty to EM resistance, but a bonus to capacitor recharge. The exotic filament info once again, there we go. Receives penalties to kinetic resistance, but a bonus to scan resolution. So you'll be able to scan, uh, not scan, but lock things faster. And the Firestorm, which here I think she used in the past, will give you a armor HP bonus, but you'll get thermal resistances taken off you. Last but not least, we have Gamma, which I'm pretty sure is the one we're going to go for, which will give us a bonus to shield HP, but a penalty to the explosive resistance. So Hero... You kind of know what you're doing-ish when it comes to the Abyss. So uh, pick one of these. I would recommend the Gamma one. And uh, basically fit a ship around it. Now, I know you're not that clued up on Mimitar ships. But just do the best you can. And uh, we'll come back to you and see what you've come up with. Hey, you've gone for the rupture. I absolutely love that ship, especially with the skin on it. It does look rather menacing and quite awesome. So let's have a look at the fit you've managed to throw on it. And uh, yeah, it looks alright from first glance. So we've got four 220mm Scout Auto Cannons in the highs. Got a cap battery there, large one. Got a adaptive invulnerability field, a large shield booster, and also an afterburner as well. Um, tracking enhancer, some damage mods, and a yep damage control two in the lows. Medium anti-EM. Ambit extension and burst for damage and tracking. So yeah, it looks not too bad. What have we actually got with you? EMP and a calm and gamma. Nice. Now I'm not showing you choice of ammo there, hero EMP. Where'd you get that from? Okay, so you actually went on the Eve website and that was the suggested ammo as well as these drones. Alright, so I don't know if I'll use that ammo type on those drones, but you're more than welcome to test them out. Also, You've put an afterburner on. I would feel more comfortable with a micro warp, but again, we'll just see how you manage to get on. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it here. Get yourself out. Go a few jumps away from Jita. Maybe just one system over and then, I don't know, maybe, maybe two systems. Just get away from anyone. I mean, we're in high sex, so it's not that much of a big deal, but there's still nothing stopping anyone from ganking you as soon as you come straight out of the abyss. For all they know, you've come out with super good loot and they'll want it. Okay, here we are, nice and safed up, just two jumps away from Jita. So it's about time we started doing some action things to activate your filament. That's it, give it a right click and use Gamma Filament and you'll be greeted with this window. And it just has a little bit of an overview on how the filaments work, how you can go in its groups, what type of filament you're using. In this case, it's a Gamma Ray, so all the drawbacks and positives for that. And we only have 20 minutes, so to actually get in there, you just need to click the activate button on the right. If you were using this as like a group activity and you had three of them, you would simply click activate for fleet on the left. So here we go into the abyss. And here I've just realized you've not actually set your uh, overview up for this, have you? No. All right. So this could be interesting when we first come in, then nothing might show up. Um, so yeah, a little bit of a jump in. 
bit of a long jump in this one. And there we go, yeah, just as I thought, nothing's actually appearing on D-Scan. So, as Hero's doing now, he's panicking a little bit, I can tell. Simply go to All, select what you want, go back to Combat, and then right-click it in Space and Add to Overview to get it onto the Overview tab you're currently on. Same with the drones, who's going to select them. Go to the tab you want them on, right-click, Add to Overview. And there we go, now everything's on the Overview. You'll have to change that later here, we'll give it a bit of a tweak, because obviously there'll be a few other things you'll need to add onto it as well. So, yeah. You just need to kind of fly around now, make yourself dizzy since these drones are awfully fast. And, um, yeah, just work your way through it. Now I can already see that you're struggling to hit these drones that's down to the track. And I've always thought it was quite difficult to fit a ship to do everything. You fit a cruiser to try and hit drones, frigates, battleships, you know, the lot. And sometimes it can be quite difficult. Hero, again, realising he's not set everything up correctly. Um, but I'm sure he'll manage. So we'll leave you to it here. Once you've cleared this room out, we'll be back to have a look. And um, the loot and how you got on. So there we are, room one is complete. Hero, nice to see you've actually added everything else to your overview, so now you can see exactly what's going on. It would have been nice to have those towers on from the beginning, because one of those towers there would have easily taken out those drones for you, rather than you having to do it yourself. But, well, now you know. Um, so the loot, when it comes to loot in the abyss, what you're looking for is these little caches. Hero is just attacking one now, and there's two types. There's this one, which can also be used to exchange the triglavian kind of scripts you find to loot crates. And there's another one which sticks itself to the side of asteroids nearby. They all appear on your overview. It's quite easy to find and simply blow them up to get all the goodies inside. So, I can see you're kind of missing your micro warp now, aren't you, Hero? Yeah, I know you'd be a little bit less cap stable with it. You might not be able to have it on all the time. But uh, it's really going to help out when it comes to running through the sites and not running out of time at the end. Don't really know what else we can add to the abyss. I'll link or I'll put a little card in for Heroes current abyss videos at the top. So you can always check them out if you want to know more about the abyss. But other than that, we're just going to race through the rest of this site and uh, have a look at the goodies we've got at the end. Hero, you're going to be short on time on this. So you might have to leave a few of these little caches behind. So we're not going to get full loot from this one. But um, yeah, we'll still add it up at the end and see how we got on. Good job, Hero. You survived it in a ship you're not used to as well. Good on you. Right, so how did it handle? How did you get on? Okay, so the ship was okay. A little bit slow. You need a micro warp. Fair enough. Oh, and tracking was a little bit poor. But at least you managed to kill everything and get out alive. So that's a plus. Um, yeah, let's have a look in your infantry then and see what you managed to get. Uh, so you didn't do too bad. Okay, you're definitely going to think of changing the EMP ammo. We might want to change the drones as well, so I don't think they're ideal. According to this, we've got 4.19 estimated ISK, so it's a bit of a plus already how much did the, the thing cost. That's what you're checking. All right, so yeah, it cost about a mil at the most. I think it was about 500k, so we're definitely in the pluses. Did you manage to actually get all of the caches? No, did you get most of them? No. Okay, so you only actually got about 50% of them because you were running out of time, mainly down to the micro warp. So get the micro warp on there, get that ammunition changed, and uh, you'll be good to go, mate, to carry on doing this for a few hours like you did the missions. And we'll have lots of isk in no time. Series is starting to drag on now, we need to bring it to an end. So get yourself a good amount of isk, and we'll be back to you very soon. That's pretty much all I've got to say, so I just want to say thank you so much to all of you guys watching. If you did like this video, hit the like button down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to get more videos just like this one. And we'll see you right here very soon in another video. Bye-bye.
I would like to propose a new series of videos I have been working on. It's about getting an alpha clone up to billionaire status in as short a time as possible. What we'll need to do is I need you to create an alpha clone and then using my awesome guidance and your superior skills, we'll go through all the different ways you can actually make it and we'll get